Hey everybody, so quick tutorial on how to use parse in an automation. Um, the majority of times users are going to be using parse uh, to split some text on the screen or um, extract something, stuff like that. So let's say that you have ChatGPT messaging you and you want to split after it said like heading, colon, whatever it wants to be. Um, that's an example of splitting on text. So like this might say, for example, like, I don't know, make steps here and we want to split at the here section. So what I'm going to do, and I'll just show you this in case that doesn't make sense. Um, we are going to scrape this text right here. The browser window will capture your steps, confirm this click. And then what we want to do is we want to parse just the second half of this. Um, and we want to type everything after will uh, into this input. So I'll go ahead and add a parse step. And let's add step two. And then we need this browser will capture your steps. Uh, we need some example text um, so that we can build with. And then let's select split. And then we can type will right here. And we'll see that we can then select either option here. So if I click the, if I click the second one and then save this and then record another type step. And we add the value from the parse step there. So we'll see that we add step three because that's what the step three is returning. Shows us our variable here. Um, what this is gonna do is this will go to taskmagic.com slash how to, scrape this text in the middle of the screen, parse at what we said um, where it's splitting after the text will, and we're grabbing the second half. If we wanted the first half, we could click here, and then it is going to retype that in this input field in the middle. So if I click play steps, um, we'll see that happen. We'll also see that happen in the view log section. So here it is going to start highlighting this and then it will type the second half in this input field here. So we'll see here in the run logs, we see that as well. It scraped this and then the parsed result was capture your steps and then it typed capture your steps. So that's a basic example of how to use parse. Um, you can go through the other options to see how you'd enjoy these. Um, there's tons of others to play with. So looking forward to seeing what you guys make with this. Um, let me know if there's any other questions in the comments.